Liam Martin writes, hello, Collider crew. I watch every day and think you do a great job. I have a question regarding Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. I know that when The Phantom Menace came out in 1999, people waited around for six weeks in line before the movie came out to get tickets and a seat in the theater. My question is, how long before The Force Awakens opens do you think people will have to get in line to get a seat in the theater? I know the lines probably won't be quite as long because we are able to buy tickets online months before the film comes out, but buying a ticket still does not guarantee a decent seat in the theater. Thanks for taking the time to answer my question and may the force be with you. Yeah, I mean, I was one of those guys who I did a uh, uh, ticket line camp out in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, which is a cold place. You see the Aurora Borealis at night, actually. It's wow. very, very far north. Even by Canadian standards, Saskatoon is really far north. Um, and but we only we camped out with tents on a sidewalk for about three days. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't go much longer than that. Times have changed because when the first Phantom Menace came out, I mean, it was the way you got your movie tickets was you had to go to the box office and buy your movie ticket. That isn't the case anymore. Now you just hop online, you know, you go to amctheaters.com, you go to Fandango, you go to movietickets.com, you go to any of those sites and you can buy your tickets online. You don't have to go and get in line. Now, you also raise the issue of, yeah, but what if you want a good seat? That's another issue. Movie theaters that don't live in the Stone Ages now have pre-assigned seating, which is what every single freaking movie theater should have. And there's no, there's no reason why in today's age, with the most basic of technology, you can't automatically convert to pre-assigned seating. It's stupid. It, that is one of the big things on the film exhibition industry right now that is just mind-blowing. But... The industry is coming around. More and more theaters now have pre-assigned seating. So you can buy your ticket, pick your seats, just like you would if you went to a concert or to a sporting event or it just took a freaking flight. You pick your seats in advance. I think that is becoming more the norm. But you're right. We're not there yet. So a lot of people are going to buy their ticket online. And then if it's not in a pre-assigned seating theater, they are going to have to go. Is it going to be six weeks? No. You're, you're going to see news stories here and there about the odd, hardcore fan who's going to go four weeks in advance, but they know it's not just to get the front of the line. They know it's just to say, I did it for four weeks because you're not going to need to get there four weeks in advance mm -hmm. to get a good seat. But you are going to see days. You're going to see big lineups for days, not weeks, but you are going to see it for days. And I hope I'm going to be in one place or another where I can take advantage of that and just be part of that kind of, to kind of relive the experience. But I don't know, Adrian, did you ever get it, like do an overnight in line for anything? And how do you think it's going to play with this brand new Star Wars? First things first, how do you feel about lack of assigned seating in theaters? <laughs> I'm, uh, I think it's a bad thing. <laughs> uh, I have actually, I did it for Phantom Menace, or unfortunately for Phantom Menace, I wasted it on Phantom Menace. <laughs> um, look, I, I agree with you. I think times have changed. People can readily get access uh, to tickets, and especially with assigned seating, there's no really need for lining up. But Star Wars is all about the fan experience. And yeah. I think fans want to line up, and that's part and parcel with what Star Wars is. And they want to line up, they want to enjoy it together. I've always said, I'm not going to go to a, to a premiere if I get invited. I'm not assuming I will get invited. If I get invited, I won't go. I won't go to any press screenings. I want to see Star Wars with the fans. So uh, yeah, you'll see on major theaters like TLC, Chinese, you're going to see big lines. But I think generally people are just going, you know, you, what you hear is that record sellouts and maybe internet crashes for the day that the tickets go on sale. But oh, yeah. in terms of lines across the country, I don't think so. Some, some key theaters. Mark? That means I really got to learn how to pronounce your last name when I check in as you at the premiere that I got invited to. Because I will go see it every opportunity I get. All the press screenings, the premieres. And yes, really? I camped out for three days uh, to go see Phantom Menace. And I still value that experience. It was so much fun hanging out with my friends and all these other Star Wars fans and getting to see it that first. Even though we had blinders on after watching the movie, it was such a great experience for me. And not every airline lets you pick your seats ahead of time. And if your Southwest. movie theater runs itself like Southwest Airlines, it's going to get a little competitive when The Force Awakens comes out. So I think you should camp out maybe a day or two days early if you have the time to spare. Usually today, it's going to be interesting though because like it's it, it's going to feel like Ticketmaster and a huge music act is coming to town yep. where you log on and you got to get those seats ahead of time because you're right, you don't want to be scrunched all the way up in the front of the theater watching The Force Awakens. I would recommend sitting closer to the back and in the middle, but you know, have fun with it. Log on two weeks in advance and see if you can get tickets yet. So just make sure that you have a mental reminder to do it at the beginning of December. And when December 18th rolls around, you're going to be thankful you did. You know, I, I had kind of the same experience that you're talking about for Star Wars. I, when Man of Steel came out, 
I dedicated myself that I wasn't going to go to any press screenings. I wasn't going to go. Ahead. I wanted to see the first screening with an audience of fans. So I waited till opening day. Me and my wife, we got our Superman capes. We went down to the AMC Burbank 16 and we watched it there and I just loved it, had a great time. I would like to say I'm going to do the same new same for the new Star Wars, but there's I'm I'd be lying to you myself. Can't wait, I man. just look, I've I've already seen more of the movie than I'm supposed to. So, I mean, I I just won't be able to resist. What does that mean? I just won't be able to resist. Is, if, that, like, a scoop? If, Is that a scoop? Somebody, somebody what? once asked me. You give me, it a standing ovation. Move on, move on. <laughs> somebody asked me um, if, you know, hey, John, if you had a chance to go see a half done, no visual effects, anything at J.J. Abrams' house, would you want to wait for the full experience? And I said the same thing. I would want to tell you that I have the testicular fortitude that I could <laughs> hold out and wait to see the full thing, but I wouldn't be able to. I would fold so fast. Mm -hmm. I would fold so fast because Star Wars is pretty much my life. So, I mean, I would, yeah, the first official invite I You're get there. to anything, there. I'm there. I just have to be. I just have to be. And I'll be there opening night, too. You should also check in under my name. I will also check in under your name. 